Hello everybody, I'm Mike Robinson. Welcome to my daily cookery video and today I'm cooking something really close to my heart which is a beautiful piece of fallow deer venison. This is a piece off the haunch of the animal and it's going to create what we call a parve. But I'll get into the meat later. First I'm going to cook the accompaniments or prepare them. Have a look in here and you'll see some beautiful little butternut squash and what I've done, I'm going to top them up, is I have filled that little hole that I've made with a piece of lemon, some olive oil, some rosemary and a clove of crushed garlic. That is going to go straight in the hot oven here. And that oven runs at about 200 centigrade, the top of my agar, which is about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, crucially, the bottom left oven, I have temperature checked and it runs at 95 degrees Celsius, right, which is about sort of 220 Fahrenheit. And that's what I'm going to cook my piece of meat in later on. But while that cooks, I'm also going to make a little thing to go on top of the venison once it's cooked and that's a flavoured butter. Now this is a really cool thing to have in the fridge. You see in here I've got the best part of a block of butter which I have basically uh, chopped into small chunks and allowed to soften up. I've got coriander, cilantro, I've got a little pile of watercress, not normally seen as a herb but really peppery and in this case it's going to be great. I've got pepper, cayenne pepper which is ground chilli, a little salty devilishly strong anchovy and some lemon and uh, that is going to make my flavoured butter. We've got our herbs, I'm going to throw them into the butter like so. What else? Well I'm going to add some pepper for seasoning. There we go. Here's my anchovy, some cayenne pepper. Now this is quite fierce stuff, I want it a bit zingy, I want it a bit spicy and of course salt. A little bit more than normal and just because I think it's going to have a lovely flavour in there I'm going to add a bit of lemon zest. I'm not lovely this is going to be a really delicious butter. And there you have a look in there come in see all those ingredients. So you can't just leave your butter in a lump like that what you need is a piece of cling film into my cling film like this. Lovely. That will make a nice sausage of butter. There we are. See by twizzling like that, rolling and twizzling, rolling and twizzling, you get a lovely sausage of butter that when you put it in the fridge will chill hard and you can take a nice neat slice off, take the cling film on, sit it on top of your beautifully pink steak, blowtorch it, melt all over the top, finish it off a tree. Right, my butternut squash have been cooking now for 45 minutes. And uh, let's have a look at them. Come and have a look at these. So this is one of the coolest, nicest little recipes I know. I'm gonna bring a nice knob of butter on there. And I'm gonna cut the butter with a little bit of oil. Okay, now what's going to happen is the butter is going to foam. I'm just going to throw a couple of cloves of garlic in there and that's going to heat up and foam. While that's heating up, let's go back and have a look at the venison. Here's my beautiful piece of uh, venison. This is one of the primal, the four primal muscles in the haunch of the deer. And what we do is we strip it off the bone, we eat the French style, we seam out the meat. Everybody does this now. And I'm going to cut a couple of fat parves. Now parve is a perfect, lovely chunk, look at that, of fallow deer. Starting off, I'm going to throw a little bit of seasoning on the, on the steak. I'm going to season it with pepper, give it a bash, turn it over. Do the same, give it a bash. Right, follow me over to the, uh, the pan. Got a spoon. Look at the pan. Now this is perfect foaming butter. So we're going to put our parve in there. All I want to do is get lovely colour on that steak on both sides for about 90 seconds on each side. All around I'm going to toss some foaming butter over it and then we're putting that whole thing in a 100 degree oven. That's 100 centigrade, 220 Fahrenheit. And you see I've got all the flavour from the oregano and the rosemary from the garden. I'm just going to make sure that that's nicely covered and I want it to get really nice and coloured. So I'm not going to touch it, leave it for two minutes or so, 90 seconds, 
Turn it, same again, and then slow and low cooking. Right, I've turned it over. You can see it's got a lovely color. And I'm gonna pop it in there for 10 minutes. And while that is happening, I'm gonna put some olive oil on my lovely vegetables here, a squeeze of lemon. And I'm gonna put them in the hot oven to roast for 10 minutes. So I've got a steak cooking, low and slow. So remember, it's 90 seconds on each side. 10 to 12 minutes in a 100 degree oven, depending on the size of the steak. And then another little foam in butter at the end, rest it, and it should be lovely and pink all the way through, but cooked all the way through, because I don't like venison very rare. Uh, okay, so 12 minutes is up. I'm gonna get my, oh, there's my lovely butternut squash I've been keeping warm. And then let's have a look at our parve. So, come and have a real close look at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Lovely bit of meat. I'm gonna rest it. As I say, my goal with that for it to be pink, but cooked. Got to rest for about three to four minutes and then I'll carve it up. And uh, then we're gonna put the flavored butter, everything else on the board and it'll be done. So just, you gotta be patient once you've taken a piece of meat like this out the pan or out the oven, because to not rest it's criminal. The meat's super tight like this, so all the fibers of the muscle are all under tension because they're hot. And um, when you rest, those muscle fibers relax, and then when you cut it, they retain the juices. If they're under tension when you cut it, the juices come pouring out and it goes gray. So take your time. I'm gonna give that a full five minutes on a wooden board at room temperature, and then we'll see how it is. Okie dokie, so I've had five full minutes resting and I can just feel that the steak's perfect. Because I'm gonna carve, I've just washed my hands really well. And when I push the sides like this, it sort of flops back a little bit and I can just tell that's gonna be lovely and pink. And the temperature's lovely. It's warm, but it's not hot. And that's the secret. If it's too hot to hold, you haven't rested it long enough. Okay. Oh, lovely. My veggies. And these are lovely, if you look in here, I'm just going to throw a little bit of seasoning on them and they are delicious. A bit of pepper, gorgeous. Okay, one of the things you really want to try and do is carve meat across the grain, not with the grain. Now, if I carved it downwards like this, this would be, because this is how I cut it off the meat, right? So I need to cut it straight down like that because the grain runs this way. So I'm going to take a slice and hope for the best. Should be nice and Oh, you beauty, look at that. That's absolutely full of juice and totally pink from edge to edge with no brown ring, perfection. Put some really lovely veggies in the middle. Blow torch the butter there and let it melt over the top. Last little sprinkle of seasoning. <clears throat> there you have it. A fabulous parve of wild fallow deer cooked to a tea really simply. I'm going to taste some because it's my favourite food in the world and I virtually live on these things. And mm, that's soft, delicious, mild, not strong at all. It's just a lovely way to cook a piece of venison.